dear students look at the pictures these are the artisans the carpenter the goldsmith potter the basket maker tailor and somebody is knitting there these artisans are creating various goods using their hands and with the help of traditional techniques in the same way just look at the second picture first tell me my dear students what do you see at the beginning exactly he is mahatma gandhi ji and do you know we have often seen this picture of gandhi ji spinning on his charkha it means the wooden wheel and one of the intention behind it was that the people from rural area should get an opportunity to earn their lively food these are the indian viewers so my dear students today in this video lecture i am going to talk about the second poem that is a indian viewers the poem is composed by one of the greatest indian poet that is a sarojini naidu first before starting the poem let's discuss about the poet sarojini naidu was a political activist feminist freedom fighter and the first female state governor of independent india she is called the nightingale of india my dear students let me tell you why this poet is called as nightingale of india actually nightingale it is a singing bird but when you look the poem you will come to know that the way she composes the poem uses beautiful words its uh, structures and the poem seems like a song that's why she is called the nightingale of india now we will begin the poem but before beginning let me tell you this is very short poem though it is a short it's very meaningful the speciality of the poem is that it has only three stanzas having four lines and in the second line of each stanza i will find the question it means this is in the form of discussion the poet sarojini naidu has asked question to the viewers and the viewers are replying to the question asked by the poet now you will understand one by one as we will go through the poem now look at the first stanza viewers viewing at break of day why do you view a garment so gay blue as the wing of helsian wild we view the robes of a newborn child this is the first stanza now try to understand we was weaving at break of day here one concept is used that is break of day and the meaning of break of day is sunrise means the early morning our indian viewers are weaving the clothes at the early morning this is the time of sunrise and at the time the poet sarojini naidu asked them question and what is the question why do you view a garment so gay here the meaning of gay is happy or bright now what is the reply given by viewers blue as the wings of a helsian wild my dear students helsian is a bird kingfisher bird which is very small in size and if you look properly on the screen you will come to know the feathers colors of the feathers is blue it's a very dark blue it shines it has a brightness and they are weaving the garments of blue color and for whom they are weaving we view the robes of a newborn child it means our indian viewers are weaving the clothes for newly born child see the picture of newly born child and how is the color of dress it is a blue color why the poet is has used blue color let me tell you blue color of the kingfisher bird it is very dark and shining it means the poet has directly compare that color with newly born child means as this blue color is a symbol of hopes and expectations in the same way 
in the family where there is a birth of newly born child the family members also have some hopes and expectations from the newly born child now my dear students if there is a birth of any child in the family all the family members are very happy it creates the happy joyful atmosphere in the family the parents grandparents brother sister uncle whatever it may be all the members are very happy with the arrival of new guest and mostly grandparents are very happy because it is the promotion that's why they are happy no doubt parents are also happy this birth creates the joyous atmosphere in the family in the same way the poet has compared that happiness means gay means happiness this happiness is compared with the happiness of the family members with arrival of new born child and this blue color indicates the hopes and expectations and why the poet has used the halcyon bird here there are so many birds but my dear students though this bird is very small in size but it is very active and look at the color it's very bright it's very shining it means the newly born baby is also very cute very shining it has a brightness that's why the poet compares this color and the bird with a small boy now let uh, let me tell you that in the first poem Tanda. i will find in the second line the poet has asked question and after that in the third line there is the uh, use of color means poet mentions the color and then the viewer our indian viewers are replying it means here my dear students in the first uh, stanza we have to try to understand that the time different time of the day is mentioned and it is the time of beginning of the day and this time is compared with the first stage of our life that is our birth means we will come to know one by one the different times of the days and the different dresses which are metaphorically compared with the stages in the life of human being okay now let's look at the stanza number 2 we was weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright now see my dear students now our indian weavers are weaving the clothes but the time of the day is fall of night so what do you mean by fall of night it means uh, evening now second time of the day is mentioned here that is evening and now our poet asked the question to the indian viewers why do you view a garment so bright means now the viewers are weaving garments which are very bright like the plumes of peacock purple and green we view the marriage bells of queen this is the reply of the indian viewers now look at the third line there is also poet is has mentioned the colors and what are the colors purple and green like the plumes of peacock so what is the meaning of plume here if you might have seen the peacock you will come to know otherwise you can see the below picture is there let's look at this this is a plume and how is the color purple and green you can see on the screen also it is the color purple and green now why the poet has used these colors and what does these colors symbolize let me explain to you see the purple color and green color is used here in the clothes which our indian viewers are making and they are making this for marriage bells of a queen means these indian viewers are weaving this beautiful colored clothes for the queen and who is the queen when there is a adulthood this is the another stage in human life when there is a 
stage of marriage at the adulthood the bride feels herself like a queen that is her day and as she wears the sarees beautiful colored mostly the bride wears the saree which has the color purple and green you can see in this picture also see the saree is the bride has has or it has the color green and purple it looks very beautiful and this color my dear students symbolizes the joy happiness in the life of newly married woman now the indian viewers answered or replied to the question asked by the poet we view the marriage well of a queen so they are weaving now this clothes having the purple and green color already i uh, explained that purple and green color symbolizes the happiness joy which is in the life of newly married woman that is very important stage in the life of a bride fall of night means the time of evening and why the poet has used this time of the day let me explain to you at the time of evening when our family members means head of the family as a father mother they returns at home from their duty the rest of the members are very happy at that time because they have time to chat to discuss with the parents and it creates a happiness in the all family members that's why the poet has compared this time with the happiness in the life of a girl who is going to be married that's why this time is used means the second time of the day is compared with the second stage in the life of person and marriage well means look at the picture that bride as we are the marriage well it is a having a white color and particularly there is a face cover that is called marriage wells and on that particular day in this particular stage in the life of woman she thinks that she is a queen and so the poet has used this colors now let's look at the third stanza of the poem we was weaving solemn and still what do you weave in the moonlight chill now here also the poet has asked the question now in this stanza my dear students the mood of the indian viewers is totally changed if we consider the first stanza the viewers were happy they were so happy but now in the last stanza they are solemn means they are serious they are very nervous motionless at that time the poet asked them question what do you view in the moonlight chill let me tell you the meaning of moonlight chill moonlight means here now the time of the day is mentioned which is at midnight this is very late night and in the late night our indian viewers are weaving the clothes and they are weaving the clothes how are the clothes and for whom they are weaving the clothes white as feather and white as cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud now see our indian viewers are very nervous they are sad they are serious and in the late night you can see in the picture also there is a moonlight and this night is very chill very cold i will explain it further what is the reply of the indian viewers why does feather and why does cloud we we were dead man's funeral shroud now my dear student this is the time of late night third time of the day is particularly mentioned here and it is compared with the third stage of human life and what is the third stage see the white feathers are there in the picture you can see it clearly there are white color clouds also but these indian viewers are weaving now a shroud 
now let me tell you what is a shroud it is a cloth white color which is particularly put on the dead body and my dear students death is the last stage in the life of human being and these viewers are now weaving that's why they are very solemn means serious nervous and still motionless now here the poet has used the color white in the feathers and in the cloud the white color also compared to the shroud how is the color of shroud it is a white and when we use it use the shroud at the last moment of the life of a person at it means at the death now let me tell you why the feather and cloud is used by the poet here means the poet sarojini naidu has used beautifully the imageries and as well as she has used the uh, symbols also it is a full of symbols this poem is a full of symbols now white feathers look at the white feathers they are very light weighted clouds empty clouds these are also very light weighted and if there is a strong wind or blow of the wind the feathers and the clouds will fly in the sky and this is metaphorically compared by the poor naidu to our death it means there is a soul in our body and it is the proof that we are alive and when there is a death of a person the soul also disappears from our body and it goes to the sky just like light weighted feathers and the clouds passes away they fly in the sky with the blow of wind in the same way our soul also flies in the sky disappears and remains only our dead body if you touch the dead body you will feel that the dead body is very cold you will sense that it is very cold and if the dead body is cold it clearly indicates that the person is no more that's why the poet has used the moonlight chill word here in this way my dear students this is a very short poem i hope that you have enjoyed the poem and what is important thing in this poem the three different times of the day are compared with the three different stages of our life this is the period of lockdown but my dear students uh, you should be unlocked to get the knowledge so with this not i end my today's video lecture keep watching my videos and do not forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel